Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cliffy here. Now, sorry if I'm a bit quieter. It is currently 11 o'clock at night. We're getting this late night recording done on a brand new series that we have. The Zero to Hero Leicester Shire Foxes Cricket Captain 2018 Career Mode. That is an absolute tongue twister. Try and say that. 10 times fast, I bet you can't, but um, a lot of people are saying, obviously we've come back, we've done some FIFA videos, they're saying, where's, you know, where's the cricket? At the moment I don't currently have time to do Cricket 19, um, just because of, you know, work and the kids, it just makes it a little bit hard, so I thought, you know what, we'd go and do some Cricket Captain 2018, because it is fairly easy to do um, and so fingers crossed that we can go and get a, uh, a fairly decent one in. So we are actually playing our very first game here. Um, it is just a university match so I think this is kind of uh, a little bit like a I don't want to say a warm-up game for the season because we do have the first game uh, next time so uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say it's a warm-up, but it is a, a good chance, I guess, for us to get to know our squad um, and move forward from there. So, Leicestershire have a pretty... They've had a pretty average run, it must be said, in the county championship. I think they've been stuck um, down in Division 2 for quite some time now. And my mate was saying that they had a run. I don't know if this is correct. Someone tell me if it's not. Um, but they had, like, a run of 24 games where they didn't win. Um, a game. They possibly drew some in there, but they had a really, really bad run. Um, I know they've finished bottom. Basically, I think, excuse me, in the uh, 2017 season, which I think is what this game is based on, obviously. Um, and then I think possibly the last season, I think they finished bottom of Division 2 um, with bugger all wins. So we're going to look to try and obviously take them zero to hero style um, and make them a Div 1 County Champion, so that is the ultimate goal, and that is what we're going to be looking at doing. Now you may see a few um, familiar names in here, obviously Michael Carberry, uh, former England opener, he is our captain. Um, I did say that our team was fairly young. Um, between him and Mark Cosgrove, they're probably the two older guys, Carberry 37, uh, so he probably only has another, I don't know, maybe another season with us. Um, and Cosgrove 35, so they are the older of the, t uh, well basically the elder statesmen of the squad. The rest I have actually gone and left out. Um, Zach Chappell, this is a young guy who I have brought in. He, all rounder obviously, um, but bowls right arm fast, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes, does go and develop there. Um, Cosgrove has actually gone and picked up 100 there, so big mark Cosgrove. Um, I know the Aussie fans will be very happy about that, so um, we just got to keep going, moving forward. Also, right down the bottom there, the number 11, Muhammad Abbas, obviously known to a lot of Pakistani fans and a lot of fans um, of world cricket as well. In the UAE, his record is absolutely outstanding. Um, I think it was 20, might have been 2018 now. I've got to try and get my um, my years sorted. Um, you know what? We're going to go into clear here because why not? Um, yeah, 2018 I think it was, um, he had that stellar series against the Aussies where he could basically do no wrong, he was averaging something absolutely ridiculous, I think he was averaging about 15, and uh, there is our first wicket, so that has gone to Rain, who is uh, 26, so yeah, most, you know, we've got quite a few guys um, that are in the very young uh, part of the age bracket, so, you know, just looking around um, that... 1920 so just breaking out into the scene and then we do have quite a few guys that are starting to get into their prime I guess you would say around that 26 27 mark so we're looking for them to really go and uh, do good for us I think we also have Cam Delport on a coal pack deal uh, the South African so hopefully he comes back at some stage him and uh, Muhammad Nabi who was another one of our overseas players currently playing in the IPL so here's this Zach Chapel guy that I was saying and obviously right arm quick Good to have that, and a guy who can bat inside the top six and uh, bowl pace is definitely going to be handy later on down at the track, it must be said. So um, there we go, he has actually gone and picked us up a wicket, so that is promising. Um, but things are looking pretty good for this, this Foxes side, it must be said. We are only playing um, a university team, so... Obviously the standard isn't too high. We will know probably come episode two uh, what our competition is like and how difficult it is going to be. But putting up a really good fight here, it must be said. And uh, did win the toss, chose to bat first. And that decision, I think, is being vindicated here now. Um, with 70... 
two for five. And now still 320 odd runs behind. So um, the follow on in four day games, I think, is ooh, 150. I'm not sure what it is for three day games. Might be 100, possibly. So um, this essentially is like a tour match when international sides go and tour somewhere. Um, so yeah, just a bit of practice and just to see how our team is going. But to be fair, I am liking what I'm seeing so far, and I don't really know how this team... I mean, I don't know a whole lot about county cricket, um, but not really too sure how this team went 24 games or whatever it was um, without a win. So we're just going to keep going, keep building. We haven't even brought a bus back in. Um, which we really should do because he is obviously our main man but the spinner Parkinson getting the job done and as you can see 137 uh, to avoid the follow on I'm trying to remember what we got it must be 150 as well not like well to be fair it's not likely um, that these guys are going to get anywhere near that currently 110 for 9 and just really um, at sixes and sevens, it must be said. Parkinson, he's done a decent job for us, a left arm spinner. And um, he is going to finish up there with uh, three for 10 off his 7.3 overs, a pass one for 10, and uh, Rain, the other opener, three for 25. Um, we, you know what? We will get them to uh, follow on because I'm hoping that that means that we can try and wrap up this game sooner rather than later. I hate being on the bowling card. I have no idea why, but I hate being on the bowling card. Um, in this game, it's, I just always have, always have, always will, and uh, there's a drop chance, so a bus, the overseas pro, will not be happy with that one, and uh, we're just going to keep moving on, they are going quite nicely here, it must be said, that one, they're probably pitching outside leg, um, we won't even bother going in to watch the replay on that one, but a bus does strike, he does get his man McBain for 18, and we will go and take that, we will take that boys, 11 minutes left in the second session, Another full wicket here would be nice, and a thick inside edge past the stumps for none. And another drop catch. Was that off a bus as well? I was going to say, he'll be absolutely spewing. He won't want to turn up to the next game. He's going to do it himself. He gets friend LBW for seven. And uh, that is T on day two with uh, Leicestershire Foxes leading by 223 runs. So whoever these guys are, are still trailing by 233 with a session and a day left to go so still plenty of time it must be said left in this game it does seem to be like it is very good conditions here yeah, very sunny um, so struggling a little bit but we will not complain too much about that didn't really sign that's uh, another thing I was going to touch on um, didn't really sign too many players um, I'm guessing the fact that this side has been down towards the bottom uh, of the county championship for such a long time obviously transfer budget's not really going to be there we did manage to sign two players both of who aren't playing today um, but young batsmen obviously looking forward to the future with Carberry and uh, Cosgrove that we did touch on earlier uh, getting towards the latter stages of their career and I don't know why I'm trying to change the bowler that was stupid of me trying to change the bowler while he's still bowling in the over you can't do that, Cliffy. You should know that. Um, oh, Dexter, you beauty. We bring him on. Dexter, I feel like he's played 33. Hmm. For some reason, I had a feeling that he played a game here or there for England, but obviously that is not correct. Parkinson now to Spencer, and that's going to be gone, LBW. We'll wait for the umpire to raise the finger. There it is. Um, but that was pretty plum from the looks of it. So still 45 minutes left to go here in the second day. Just the four wickets required from our boys, the Foxes, to pick up the win inside two days, which would be good. Give us an extra rest day. And moving on to that first county championship game I think it's a first class game, four day game um, that we will have first up so it would be nice if we could manage to go and get that and it's looking like if we don't do it today, which probably won't now um, with it being only 28 minutes left to go, but Parkinson may have something to say about that with just the two wickets now required um, it will be very interesting to see what does happen but Parkinson's doing bits and pieces for me so I'm happy with his performance I'm happy with everyone to be fair everyone has gone um, 
and I guess not not necessarily put their hand up for selection because I believe that this is the best team that we do have. I did bring Chapel uh, into the side in place. I can't remember who it was in place of, um, but it was another elder player um, that we obviously want to go and give youth a bit of a run. Oh, come on, Parkinson. Oh, damn it, now we have to come back. Surely you can extend that out, umpires. Surely you can extend that a day. You know, extend it a couple of overs. If we get one here, it's going to make them look really silly now, which is exactly what has happened. Parkinson goes. He gets five for 21, so we will take that. And uh, the Leicestershire Foxes win by an innings and 120 runs. So we will definitely go and take that. And as we can see, the county championship, we are taking on Sussex. Uh, Sussex, what am I saying? Sussex, it's late. My brain's not working do uh, to please forgive me for that. Um, right, guys, we're going to quickly just have a look at the team. So as I said, Cam Delport is away. Um, but, yeah, we do have quite a big squad, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But a lot of these players we will look to try and ch uh, trim when we come later on down the track. And as you can see, um, the finances at the moment, we don't have a whole lot. You know, we're looking at... What is that? <coughs> Excuse me. $8,000, I believe. So we do not have a whole lot whatsoever. So we're going to have to make work um, of both the county championship, the one-day trophy, and the 2020 blast as well. We're going to have to do well in all three formats. But let's just take baby steps, one game at a time, and that is Sussex in our next game. The county... Uh, my apologies. The county championship opener anyway guys do hope you've enjoyed being back on cricket captain with me if you have remember to leave a like let me know down below in the comments and until next time see you later